the word stability needed in the managerial role for the New York Mets if they're going to go where owner Steve Cohen wants them to go, and that's to the World Series. You see, the manager since 2018, the success not there. The Carlos Beltran thing kind of blew up in their face. Uh, and so now on this day, we are talking about Buck Showalter being announced as the new manager of the Mets. His managerial career started in 92. Now, he took over a club that lost 91 games in 1991. Joel Sherman talked about that. He had success, AL Manager of the Year in 1994. Then, of course, it, it, it ended prematurely if you're Buck Showalter. He then goes to the Arizona Diamondbacks to be their first manager ever. I mean, he was part on the ground rule, ground rule floor uh, of putting this entire organization together. A hundred game winner in 1999, the fastest expansion team to ever win a division in MLB history. Uh, the year after he left, we all know they go on to win the World Series. So then he regroups and goes to the Texas Rangers. Uh, did not have a 500 winning percentage, but again, he took over that club uh, from the 2002 team that lost 90 games. The, ex the expectations there were not very high. He was the AL manager of the year in 2004. You see a theme wherever he goes, he's usually the manager of the year, and that was the case in 2014 with the Baltimore Orioles. He took over the 2010 Orioles in 2009. That team struggled. They lost 98 games. Three postseason appearances with the Orioles, the 2014 AL manager of the year and now the New York Mets uh, again he, he kind of moonlighted with us we got to enjoy his time as a broadcaster and analyst at MLB Network he becomes the fifth manager uh, ever to skipper the Mets and the Yankees and I already gave you my comp to Joe Torre who did both with the Mets and the Yankees and now it is uh, jo uh, our, our, our friend Buck Showalter. When you compare the other stops, I just think the expectations are are nowhere close to what he's walking into at City Field. No, not at the level of you got to win. But the, the I would have to one thing I, I'm freezing on a little bit there was the Yankee situation. The expectations were always high when George Steinbrenner owned the team. He didn't care if you lost lost 90 games or 100. He expected a title. Now, the interesting thing was in his days in, in New York, when they took over, Steinbrenner went through a suspension. So they really had a lot of pressure on them to really turn that whole franchise around and Buck's tenure there and run around and getting back up into that thing. So I think that was unique. I think also uh, you had some players, but not to the point where it's at with the Mets. The Mets are expected to win. They have big money invested. you got two power pitchers now. The expectation is clearly high for just taking over an organization, yes. I mean, you have a $300 million shortstop. You've got two of the best pitchers, if not the best pitchers on the planet, and yep. Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer, who's making over $40 million a year. Buck Showalter is taking over a team that is fully prepared to win the World Series right now. I don't know if they're fully prepared to win at all. They have, they have the pitching arsenal, it looks like. But I still think there's some missing parts. There will be more moves they make. There will be more moves. Are they going to, would you pick them to win the East right now? Yes. Yes. Would you pick them to make a run through the National, National League? You're still going to say Dodgers are going to be right there and whatnot? No, I, yes. I like the Mets over the Dodgers. Okay. Then okay. Even if Freddie Freeman goes back to the Atlanta Braves. Okay. Soroka back healthy with the Atlanta Braves. The Mets have to be the favorite now, right? And this okay. news makes me comfortable saying that. Buck Showalter yeah. is manager. Well, I, I, I think uh, the interesting thing will be how they put this whole thing together. He's the perfect fit. And, yes, they are expected to win.